President Donald Trump's second summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was floundering from the start, and it ended with a last-ditch effort by the North Koreans to keep the U.S. at the negotiating table and stop Trump from walking away. As Air Force One made its way toward Hanoi, Vietnam, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was already on the ground, expecting to meet once more before the summit with North Korea's lead envoy on the nuclear negotiations, Kim Yong-chol. After weeks of negotiations that yielded less progress than U.S. officials had hoped for, Pompeo was eager to gauge North Korea's willingness to strike a deal before Trump sat down with Kim Jong-un. But Kim Yong-chol, North Korea's vice chairman, wouldn't meet with Pompeo, three U.S. officials and a source familiar with the matter told CNN. The U.S. Secretary of State waited several hours hoping Kim would agree to meet, but ultimately turned in for the night, frustrated. It was not the first time North Korean officials had stood up their U.S. counterparts, but the high-level snub just a day before Trump and Kim were scheduled to sit down was a worrying and ultimately portentous signal that the second summit would not be the triumph Trump had hoped for. Two days later, after a final Hail Mary effort from the North Koreans, it ended without any new agreements and what Trump has come to call the walk after North Korea demanded significant sanctions relief in exchange for shutting down one of its major nuclear facilities. A State Department official told CNN that there was no expectation and nothing had been scheduled. The snub was also indicative of the North Koreans' approach to diplomacy a capricious negotiating style that reared its head once again at the end of the summit in the form of a last-ditch attempt from the North Koreans to draw Trump back to the negotiating table.